the next real, real interesting um, presentation dealing with the topic anoramic and LPG fueled mini fuel cell system for off grid power supply. Please welcome here with me um, the from the Fraunhofer Institute für Keramische Technologien und Systeme, IKTS, from the Division Technology Transfer and System Integration, Dr. Sebastian Räuber. Thank you for your kind introduction. Welcome to my presentation about our mini fuel cell system for off-grid power supply that can be fueled with liquefied petroleum gas. We have developed the system at the Fraunhofer Institute in Dresden and we have branded it an ceramic system, so um, energy from ceramics as it is a solid oxide fuel cell system. Um, my presentation looks like that. I will start with a short profile of our institute then I will focus on uh, the technical status and the field test preparation of our portable power generator and the latest test results. And I will finish with a conclusion and outlook, especially um, regarding the commercialization that we are now working on. Fraunhofer Society is Europe's largest applied research. Um, about 36 institutes um, throughout Germany um, employ 22,000 workers. Our institute is especially located in, in Dresden and since July last year we have a branch in uh, the United States at the University of Connecticut. At the moment we have a staff about 500 people budget of uh, 38 million in 2012. Most of the budget, more than one third, comes from industrial revenues. We, have, um, we are certified under the common regulations and our institute director is Professor Michaelis. Our business units as a ceramic institute consist of two parts. First of all, the structural ceramics containing the material signs and the components for classical ceramic industries, as well as the functional ceramics that especially concentrate on the energy systems, the fuel cells, battery technologies, and the smart materials for piezoelectric devices. When we look at the energy technologies we are working at Fraunhofer AKTS, this is basically the thermoelectric materials for thermoelectric generators, photovoltaics, high temperature and low temperature fuel cells that I will concentrate on in this, in this talk a little bit more, and the battery technologies. All these energy technologies require ceramic materials, synfilm technologies uh, for their basic functionality. Fuel cell development has a long tradition at Fraunhofer AKTS, which you can see on that slide. We have developed different kinds of fuel cells in a wide range of power, starting from one watt for handheld applications up to big power plants of one megawatt. Um, I will concentrate on the Aramic system that is a um, mobile system and a 100 watt power class. It operates on liquefied petroleum gas and um, it is especially suitable for off-grid power applications. And what is needed for an off-grid power application is shown on that slide. A device should be available for a competitive price. This is the most important requirement for such an application. It should have a long autarkic runtime in order to have low maintenance costs and it should operate independent from the weather conditions. And what our uh, um, industrial partners require very often is that the device is protected against theft and vandalism. Two applications are seen on these pictures at the bottom. On the left, for instance, a remote weather stations or a traffic guidance vehicle. Current applications, for instance, with uh, windmills or solar panels or gensets or battery sets are not sufficient and do not fulfill these requirements adequately. So therefore we have set up our technical specification of this anoramic device as follows. 
The fuel cell system is a solid oxide fuel cell system, a ceramic device that operates at temperatures above 800 degrees C. Therefore, uh, it, is a, it, it needs a certain amount of starting time, less than an hour. But if we combine it with a battery, a fuel cell battery hybrid system, it is immediately available without any um, time lost for the application. It operates off-grid, of course, and it operates fully automatic. Nominal power is set for 100 watt, and uh, the voltage levels for the batteries are available at 12 or 24 D DC voltage. Fuels, we have chosen commercially available fuels. Propane, butane, and ethanol fuels are fuels that are worldwide available at very low price. The durability we are focusing at is 10,000 hours and about 100 to 200 cycles, depending on the application. Weight and volume are about 30 kilogram and 50 liters, and ambient temperature, it should operate between minus 25 to 60 degrees C. Possible applications are shown on the bottom of this slide. For instance, um, industrial applications for traffic guidance systems, surveillance cameras. Um, the leisure market is very interesting. Uh, power supply for cottages or uh, remote areas or camping sites. So far, we have developed uh, three different prototypes with the figures that are given on the table here. We have been able to um, increase the power to our design level of 100 watts so far. Um, from the first prototype on the left and, and 2011 to the current prototype on the right that you will be able to see here on the booth in a demonstration with a traffic light at boost B50, we've been capable to halve the size and the weight of the system. And now we are producing, we have set up a small manufacturing line for uh, units that will be tested in a field test. I will focus on that a little bit later. What does the system look like? This gives you an impression of an exploded view of the system. In the center, um, you see the, the core module, the SFC stack, over here. And below you have all the uh, fuel processing components, the burners, the reformers that um, transform the liquefied petroleum gas into a synthesis gas then, that can be later used in the SFC stack itself. As it is a high temperature system and operates about 800 degrees C, it is it's situated in an insulation box. On the right side, you have the electronic components and the, and the electronic control unit. And on the opposite side, you have the, the blowers and the fans and the propane dosing compartment. So um, please push a little bit further. Um, so this gives you an impression what is inside our system. And if we look at the next slide, um, on the next slide, we see the core module itself on a picture. This is the so-called core module comprising the SFC stack here on the top, 40 cell stack based on um, <coughs> electrolyte supported cells. Below you have the startup burners and the heat exchangers. And the total size of the system is roughly one, one liter. What is very um, remarkable for the system is that it consists of a braced multilayer assembly. All the um, Sheets for the gas processing module are based on metal sheets that are cut by um, laser techniques or um, are um, yeah, very cost-effective production potential if we just use metal sheets that are coated with a, with a brace and, and, and braced afterwards in a, in a process. So far, we have reached um, a very reliable and gas tight design. Up to 150 cycles have been demonstrated without a leakage and more than 7,000 hours at 900 degrees C, which is a very tough temperature for the material. The components have shown a long lasting behavior, as I will um, prove later on on the diagrams of the test results. First of but before that, um, I will have a closer look at the SFC stack itself. It's a planar stack design. The SFC cell is a 90 micron three wire set based electrolyte supported cell is sandwiched between interconnectors. Commercially available interconnectors of Crowfair, Crowfair are used there. And um, all the repeat units that are shown on the right pictures 
have been um, formed by shaped by laser cutting technologies or screen printing technologies. And everything is uh, assembled to a 40 cell stack and then the, the stack is capable to deliver a power output of 150 watt. The diameter of such a cell is 70, mi uh, 70, 70 millimeters. So it's, it's a very small and compact design. So after the introduction of the system, I come to the test results. First of all, test results show you the ongoing endurance test of our core module. Over, this is a 7,000 hour test that we are performing in the laboratory. Um, after 4,000 hours, the uh, laboratory maintenance shut down. And um, on the, what you see on the curves here is um, on the bottom you see the 7,000 hour timeline and on the left, on the right side, you see the temperatures and the stack voltage or stack power. So at the beginning, we had a, at the beginning of life, we had a power of the system 130 watt. That was our design power. And after 6,500 hours of operation, we have still 126 watt output power, which is a very good degradation rate above 1% per 1,000 hours. Um, so we are quite confident that we can reach our design target of 10,000 hours before end of life occurs. The next two slides will give you an impression of the cyclability of the system, which is a very important question for our SFC system, especially as a portable power device. This first diagram demonstrates the cyclability of the SFC stack under thermal cycling conditions. It was performed in a furnace and we have heated up the stack with a tough uh, heating rate of 20 Kelvin per minute. So it means that about 45 minutes the system is at temperatures and we are able to draw our design load. This diagram shows you that um, we have reached about 80 cycles in this thermal cycling test with almost no degradation. After that, um, we had uh, the fracture, a fracture in the cell that we are still considering very uh, intensely. So there's still some work to do, but with that technology, we are still able to, um, to serve industrial projects with cyclability rates about above 50 cycles. And on the next slide, you can see um, the cyclability of the system. Again, this is a fully automated test that has been performed under, uh, for, the, for, the so for the previously presented core module. And you can see that after about 60 cycles, um, there were no cell fractures detected so far, but a certain amount of power loss. And if we compare it with the degradation rate, we s if we compare the power of the seventh and the sixth cycle, we can compute a calculate the degradation rate about 1.0.18% per cycle, which is competitive for an application. So now I come uh, to the system tests that we have prepared for our field tests. This slide shows you um, a picture of our laboratory. You can see the anoramic system in a, a vented compartment. This is because of safety, safety reasons in a laboratory. It's a safe sustaining environment for data acquisition. In the middle you see the LPG supply, uh, of course in a, in a in a cardboard, safety cardboard, and you see an application with trend, uh, 10 traffic lights, including the control box. At, at this time, uh, the system started automatically, it charges the battery, and the battery again um, supplies the power to the traffic lights via the, the power cable at the bottom of the picture. So the test results show here that we have um, seen and that we have been capable to supply the traffic lights for over 10 days with one bottle of propane, um, one 11 kilogram bottle of propane, which means that um, it's very attractive because of the reduced maintenance jobs that would be usually necessary in, in case we use lead batteries. So let's come to the preparation of the field testing. We have um, performed an outdoor test in combination with a LED information board, as you can see on the picture here. In this time, because of the requirements for vandalism, the anoramic system has been um, integrated in a 
in a closed compartment here on the bottom. So here you see the NREMIC system, the batteries, and the power cable to the, to the LED um, information board. With this test, we have been able to, um, to test um, more than 22 days at full load. We've been charging the batteries, and we wanted to uh, have experience with uh, ambient temperatures, outdoor temperatures, which you can see on the, on the next slides. This gives you the, the results of the 22-day um, 22 uh, 22 testing. And there has been part load testing has been performed, especially because these LED boards require a varying amount of power depending on the, on the ambient light. Um, the system has been operated at ambient temperatures between minus 5 to 20 degrees C. That is due to the low winter that we had here at the moment. Uh, this year in Germany, we wanted to go deeper, but uh, we couldn't in the outdoor test. We will do that in a, in a climate testing in this year. So I now come to <coughs> almost the end of my presentations, and I want to um, summarize the results and the next steps of the project. Um, the technical proof has been demonstrated in the lab. We are now um, strongly um, focusing on commercialization phase, which was initiated in October last year. We are intending to, uh, to have a spin-off <coughs> where the technology is uh, produced and uh, the system will be um, commercialized by the NRAMIC GmbH. The safety concept validation is, in, is under preparation. We are um, going to finish that at the second half of this year. So far, we have um, performed several live demonstrations at international fairs and industry events. Same as we do here at the Hanover Fair, we have already demonstrated the system in operation at the Tokyo Fair or in Korea or in Amsterdam last month. Um, On-site demonstration and field testing is, is in preparation and we will start that in May. In Dresden, in the inner city, we will shut down at a traffic light system and we will supply um, the power to the traffic light by the, with the NRAMIC system. First product will be available in 2015, as given at the bottom here. So I'd like to conclude. <coughs> I think I've demonstrated to you that we have developed a technology platform um, from the Fraunhofer Institute for a portable SFC power generator based on a commercially available fuel, the liquefied petroleum gas. A top-down requirement has been performed in this part, from customer ideas, customer requirements to product demonstration. Um, this is what we can offer as a Fraunhofer Institute. We can offer you a, a contract research or system integration projects for the NREMIC system technology, ranging between 100 and 500 watt, or even for higher power output between 500 watt and 100 kilowatt with different stack technology that we are also developing and that we are also showing here at our booth. So I have to thank you for your attention and you're very welcome to visit our booth B50 where we show you the system operation and uh, don't hesitate to ask questions. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. This is your applause. Thank you for this interesting and informative um, presentation. Are there any question here right now from the audience? No, not yet? So then uh, I just want to say is um, the same what Dr. Räuber said. If there are coming some more questions in your mind a little bit later, please do not hesitate to visit Dr. Räuber at his booth B50 here at the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries. Thank you very much for being here.